we're going to go over the operation of the voice system of the fire alarm system, which is the Silent Night 6820 EVS. The first thing we're going to go over is building all call. To make a full building announcement, grab the microphone, pull up, key microphone, and then do all call. You'll notice that all the speakers are selected and talk into the microphone. Test one, two, test one, two and that is going out through the floors. You let go of the microphone, you're no longer talking to the floor as soon as you key back up. Test one, two, test one, two. Okay, to make a manual announcement to the floor, let's say we're gonna go back out of all call. We turned off all call, test one, two, test one, two. It's no longer talking to the floor. With the microphone keyed, and it tells you right here, with the microphone key, you push the floor that you want to talk to. Test one, two, test one, two. And that makes the announcement to the floor. If you want to do multiple floors, just select the floors that you want to do. And we're talking to one, two, five, and six. Test one, two, test one, two. To turn off the speakers for those floors while the microphones engage, deselect the floors. And now you're back to normal. You notice you got messages here. In order to activate those messages, what you can do is while the panel is normal, you select the floor, actually not. You select the message, which is gonna be, we're gonna do severe warning, weather. That turns on that message. I'm gonna acknowledge just to sh shut the panel up. And we're gonna select the floor we want the message to go out on. And I'm gonna walk out real quick so we can hear the message. I'm going to turn off that message and select a different message, which is going to be the all clear. So we can just turn off that. Okay, so we're going to do a silence that silences the announcements. We're going to do a reset number two to reset the voice system. And the panel is going back to normal. And we're going to do the all clear message so we can hear what that says. Okay, and we're back to normal. We're gonna do the all clear, that's on. Then we select the floor. May I have your attention please? May I have your attention please? The alarm you heard has been cleared. I repeat, the alarm you heard has been cleared. You may return back into the building. silence and reset that so silence and we're still active now we're going to do system reset reset emergency voice system number two and it's resetting next one we're going to do is the building fire drill just to confirm that all the strobes speakers turn on with their message so we're going to do fire drill all the speakers selected Strobes are flashing. May I have your attention, please? May I have your attention, please? At this time, we are conducting a required fire drill. I repeat, this is a fire drill. Please proceed to the nearest stairwell and stand by for further instructions. Do not go into the stairwell and do not use the elevator. It should continue making that there goes. May I have your attention, please? May I have your attention, please? I 
again we're going to silence and reset so we silence okay the message stopped we're still locking the active mode we're going to reset number two for the voice system it's resetting in case you needed to manually activate the fire alarm on certain floors or all floors you select your fire alarm message you select your floor that you want the message to go to and we'll have our fire alarm message Silence, reset, reset voice system, and that's basically the operation. We're gonna, I'm not sure if we did the clear, so let's do the all clear, and level one. May I have your attention please? May I have your attention please? The alarm you heard has been cleared. I repeat, the alarm you heard has been cleared. Acknowledge, silence, we're going to reset to the reset voice system, we're back to normal, and that's the operation of the voice system, we're going to now do a actual alarm, we're going to pull a fire alarm, and that way we can see the operation of the panel under that condition. Okay, so I'm walking to the front lobby. When someone pulls a pull station, which we have here, if it's active, what you're going to see, there's a blinking light. Get me closer to it. Okay, it's blinking green. When it's active, you'll see that it says activated. Pull station will go red, and there's our sirens. In order to reset the pull station, you turn the key, open it. This little switch goes up. Pull station has been reset. We can now reset the panel. We can acknowledge the panel. And it's telling us that we have a fire alarm manual pull station. First lobby pull station post oak. So let me read that off again. First floor, post oak exit. So we're gonna silence. So that silenced the alarms. And we're still in alarm, so we have to do a system reset to reset the fire panel. We're gonna reset. The first one we were doing before was the voice system because we had manually activated the voice system. Now, because we actually have an alarm on the fire panel, we have to do number one, reset the fire panel or fire system. One and it's gonna go through a reset. If the pull station is not reset, it'll go right back into alarm. Smoke detectors, like we have one up here, I'm gonna zoom in, has two little lights on it on each side. When a smoke detector is in alarm, those two little lights will be solid red, telling you that that's the one that's locked into alarm. Uh, that one, there is no need resetting. You just come down to the panel, reset it, and that should put it back to normal. If the detector goes back into alarm, then you have to pull it out and replace it. Or just take it out and hit system reset the main panel. Main panel is now back to normal. We're all clear. And that's basically the operation of this system.